How's it going, everyone? My name is Guy, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright then, today we will be continuing on with this hey. chapter 4 piece that we've just entered last time. So let's go and. Whoops. I'll just surrender. Just don't kill me. Get the hell away. That's it, I'm bringing you in now. Okay, I'm being brought in. It's about goddamn time we got you. Uh oh, we've been arrested already. Well, I guess it's time we pay for our crimes. We're going off to federal jail, it seems. Oh well. Two days pass. What? She's letting me out? Huh. Wait. Let me try this again. You're a damn liability! Do you want something from me? Run this guy over too. Please don't shoot me. Surrender again. God damn it! You're coming with me. I like this whole surrender mechanic. No, I meant. Please, man, just murdered someone. Check the people, my ass. Don't hold back. I want him full over there. Ooh, baby. And we're dead. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, now we'll stop screwing around and get on with the missions. Still, though, it's fun to mess around. Okay, then. May as well eat something. Uh There we go. Alright, so if you hit someone it doesn't need to turn into a giant shootout. Whoop. <laughs> I don't want to hit anybody else. <laughs> My guy, you tripped over a signpost. I will not slow down. Life goes by too fast to slow down, old man. Okay, let's walk in here. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So. Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, yeah, pretty much. How you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? 
I'll meet you back here or not. Okay. <coughs> Can I beat these people up? Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's Over dirty here. little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, hey, can I get, I get a drink you in a sec. Not unless we all get washed away. No, I'm sorry, please excuse okay. me. I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. That's nice, Arthur. Mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Uh. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Okay. Oh, hey, Fred, you will be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. That's the piece of Kids in the alley. Can't get my horse. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. Sorry about that. I reckon I can pay you. <coughs> Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Okay. That's about right here. Come on. This way. Sorry, I can't do anything Let's about go, that. Mister. You come and cleat. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't yeah, need I mean, his services, supposed to follow these kids? got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. You better stop right now. Okay, so we're just chasing this kid now. Bye, mister. <laughs> Let me catch a break, man. Horse, horse, is there a horse? You give that back. Get out. Force this necessary. I will leave, okay? Okay, there we go. Let's go. What happened? What? I lost the... Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Did Arthur just give the guy like a sinister look like get off or something? <clears throat> Come on. Let's go! That fellow looks angry! Stop! God damn it! Run. 
Okay. Okay, we got the Morgan thing. Faster! You give that back! Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn, street trash. You up for that kid? How that shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. Okay, come on. Damn it! Ain't you tired yet, old man? Considering I'm in my 30s, no, not really. God damn it! Can't catch that kid. God damn it! I could should have kicked the door. This could call me. You ain't got a chance in hell, slow poke. Stop, asshole. You are right back there, old man. Get back here. There's a woman up there. Ah! I'm being chased by the village. Ah! Ah! Just be oh, come on, dude. The goddamn train hit me in the face. God damn it. I'll just choke this guy and then maybe I'll get a restart. Let's just beat this guy up. Okay, there we go. Get a restart, sweet. Let's go again. This kid is not getting away. This is the last try. <sighs> Just give it up, kid. Damn it. Hey, be careful. <sighs> I'm telling you. Come on, move faster, Arthur. This is fun, mister. I like you. Why can't I just shoot the kid down? Get back here. It is so Oh my god, the goddamn barrel. Hmm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before Jesus. he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, I just get shoot out that here. kid, please. Okay then. Yeah, I was recording for a second. 
<coughs> I just want to shoot that kid. That kid is so annoying. Bum bum bada bum 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 bada bum 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 bada bum bum. Just run along with a gun. So much fun knocking people out of the way. Hey, Keep away that from me. <laughs> That's just fun. <sighs> hey, there, Duck. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever okay. it takes, we need to get that boy back. Alright, so... Later on, when I actually get, like, the hair and beard trim... And then go like zero hair on Arthur's head, like full bald as well. Just for the heckle of it. Because going for the longest to the least. Which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, <coughs> reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know, and far from real open country. Yeah, probably true. Look out. Jeez. Let's go find Dutch. Ugh. What in the hellfire? Die. Running as fast as we can. That didn't work. Cross sake. Move. Enough for that. But where's your sense of decency? What did I do? I've had your damn face memorized for a long time. I do not have any properties. Can you? Someone help me. One more step and it's your funeral. Alright. You was warned. What the heck? I was surrendering. What the heck is this? Shots in this one ball. Sorry about that. Die. I'm probably the one who's about to die. Yeah. God damn it. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, we need to go and actually talk. We need to get on task today. Ah. Fucking dog, man. I'm sorry my dog's retarded. Okay, let's actually grab Arthur's hat. Spam X. Where are we going? Whoop. That's the wrong way. Just noticed my bad.
Okay, here's Dutch. <coughs> okay, then. Come on. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. <coughs> now, yeah. listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. All right. What's now? What are we doing now, boys? We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Open the goddamn gate! Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Great. Nathan. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. Good question, Dutch. I said, why did you take his son. We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? Heck yeah, bro. You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some Inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff okay, woman. What? <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. <laughs> uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know, you would not want that, huh? No. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, 
Why don't you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Jeez. Hey, boy. It's a scummy guy if I've ever seen one. <coughs> Okay. Uh, perfect, got the loadout. I just wanted to hit John with the horse. I will attack you know John if I so please. I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that <coughs> bastard's mouth? We don't even no. know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope. Oh, come on. It didn't say my loadout. He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Ranch for all the money we cost him. You must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Monte no. knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. So let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Yeah. I'm always right. I'm Arthur. <clears throat> Part of the job is being always right. What the heck? I had a shotgun in my hand a minute ago. This way. Okay. these grave robber dudes. What? Scared them away. Okay, we could have just said that we killed them. Then just get the heck out of Dodge. There's a lot of ways around that, Marston. You're a complete idiot for not thinking that. Ugh. Okay, then. Come on, Marston. This way. Okay, then. Maybe a lasso? Oh, I can't lasso the dog. Saw someone go this way. Where is this guy? Oh, 
Okay, so we're over here. Get in cover. I hear something in there. Yeah, no crap, there's something in there. You boys found my puppies, watch it! It's such a good line. You boys found my copies and watch it. Oh, I dropped a lot of crap. You made a big mistake coming in up. God, right. Ah! I think that's all of them. Okay, what now, John? Uh, how about we go this way? Dash. Got me around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Robin grave robbers, we've hit the big time. The stash. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped. Huh? Okay, this way. It's not gonna be. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Over this way, get shot. Come on, stay together. Okay. This way. <coughs> um. Wow, all directions except the ones we're in. That's perfect. Come on now, 
more. Okay, sweet. We're home free. Yes. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. Collect our son's deal. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Yeah. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. This guy's a mobster or something. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ha! Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple what the heck? country boys. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. Okay then. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Okay. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box, and lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Do you know cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm gonna bet those are both Italian swear words you're all right. that they were oh, just yes. covering themselves up I with. Had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? What she sure did. did. Like you wouldn't know. Is this literally Calga Hall? Yep. Jeez. Not enough space. That space out there. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd True. you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every... Hey! I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! He looks weird, good. though. Like, really it's weird. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm mm -hmm. fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? 
Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about them. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! Well, perfect. Boys safe, thank goodness. We got him, boys. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. Go be with your family. All right then. Well, with that, thank you for watching. As always, my name is Akadem. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. It really helps out a lot. And as always, have a fantastic day.